Okay, so I'm going to just show everybody how to get liquid nitrogen out of our generator. This is the generator here. This is the compressor. It compresses the air and then pumps it into the generator at high pressures. And then uh, some refrigerant and pressure changes results in uh, liquid nitrogen from the air. All right, liquid nitrogen is then pumped into this little thing here. Right now, these screws are not on and they probably won't be for the foreseeable future because that's not part of the apparatus that we need to have working. So if you want to take liquid nitrogen out, right now it's not pumping because it's full, all right? Um, and uh, usually it'll be making a significant amount of noise, all right? So what we do here is we just lift this completely out and then we just kind of place it on top here. And I wanted to make sure that everybody recognizes that uh, these tubes right here can't be broken, so we got to be very careful about them. If it has happened to have transferred recently and this is still cold, this will be too uh, firm. And if you try to move it like that, it'll break one of the hoses here. Not completely irreplaceable, but uh, not, yeah, it's, it's replaceable, right? So it's not like you're not going to be able to replace it. But this saves a lot of headache if we don't have to do that, okay? Um, so then I have this tank here, which I can deliver into anything that I want to deliver it into. I'm just going to deliver a little bit into here for now. I'm going to use this to help stabilize it for myself. Uh, we don't want to take liquid nitrogen from this larger vessel or any of the larger containers. Usually the larger vessels are for keeping uh, the cells frozen. A million cells, but anything out of here in the, that's in this corner, the one that I have right here, you're welcome to take. And I've found it easiest to dump it into one of the, the ice buckets. But, yep, so. Minimizes the strain here. 